Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video, I want to give an uh, update on my Pi 86 project. So, there's actually a lot of people that have got these now. Just my uh, processor on a card that plugs into the GPIO uh, pin header on the Raspberry Pi. Um, so, I've gone in, and uh, if you've been following my projects, I've made a PC on a card that has a memory-based video uh, card, so it doesn't actually have a graphics controller. And that's the there's a similarity between that and the Pi 86. So I was able to uh, take what I learned from the PC on a card and adapt that BIOS over to this. So let me boot it up here. So right off... Um, this is actually a ROM extension was that first uh, screen that came up and it's running the, um, original, uh, drive controller code from the, uh, first BIOS that I made, uh, and I replaced the, uh, CH376 code in the, uh, ROM extension on the, uh, PC on a card. So anyway. So this BIOS has had a lot of contributors. Uh, I changed the message here at the top, kind of the message to say that. And uh, it's going to run slow. It, it always has. And that's just the limitations in the hardware with the Raspberry Pi. As far as I know, nobody's been able to get it to go faster. Um, it's got a C, an A and C drive. And... Uh, BIOS detected the A drive, and so it booted from the A drive. Um, I think if I disconnected the code in there so that it didn't see the A drive, it boot from the C. I'm trying to decide if we can figure out a way to just have it so you uh, run an option to boot from C or A. But either way, it doesn't uh, matter for this demo. So I had to rewrite a lot of the uh, keyboard code to get the keyboard to work. And as you can see, the little interrupt thing in the corner is gone because we're actually using scan codes from the uh, Raspberry Pi keyboard input um, for this to work. So it's definitely, uh, this is dramatically improved from what I had running before. And it's been a couple of years since I've worked on that. So it's been about time. So just run a few programs here, uh, demo it out. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, the color on the graphics is not uh, right yet. Um, it'll play games, but very slow. And the color is not right on the games either. Now, it's going to take a long time to load this program compared to normal. So we'll just kind of have to wait. Obviously, you can just skip ahead with the video. Now, I did have my V30, and I was going to demo this on my V30, but the particular one I have... I'm thinking the chip's got some issues. Uh, it's getting a little bit warm. These chips normally don't get warm on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, it kept giving me some errors. Uh, just, it was buggy, which I'm thinking is the bad chip. And these are older chips, so that's very common. So like on the V30, it, it would get to this screen and just start throwing some error uh, codes up there. But uh, it says I have a mouse, but I don't think I, I don't, know where it's getting that from um so you can see the the mouse is on the screen um but this is at it it uh it does work uh, obviously you can't type dir and make it work but i'm going to hit alt and exit here so you can't see it highlighted but it is and you can't see which one's highlighted but you can read at the bottom here what's going on so I'm just going to go down here where it says exit. Exit right there. Uh, tab to go to no, hit enter. And we're back to the prompt. Let's do MSD. Um, something I found earlier when I was running this, unlike my PC on a card, this actually detects it as a CGA card. Uh, so I got to find out what, what makes that, uh, difference there. And, uh, maybe I can implement it so that it shows on MSD on that other project. 
And this is going to take a lot longer than edit to load. Hopefully it stays in focus. I've had to keep tapping the phone here. So that's, uh, I don't know if that's normal up there at the top. I'll have to run this on another PC for it to say MSD is examining your system up there. It might be normal. Now where the Raspberry Pi has a full megabyte of virtual memory, um, I haven't ever played with high mem drivers that much, but I know that there's been a few guys on my other project that were putting some high mem in the address space above uh, 640K where there were some open spots. So I'm thinking that you could put, uh, you, you could actually address that as memory, the uh, free memory. It's free from uh, C0 through F0 in the top end there so that'd give you some not that it would matter this thing's so slow but you, you could at least show it so as you can see it shows we've got all kinds of things on this, this pc it shows we've got it detects the chip just fine it's got the 640k and it does say cga uh which my pc on a card does not um it's saying we got a bus mouse uh, and a game adapter. Uh, it's because we got four drives. Um, obviously, we've just got A and C. There might be a D partition on that image. I haven't. I, I guess I can type D colon and see if it's there. It says we got three uh, uh, parallel ports, two COM ports. Uh, let's look at the memory. So. This is showing your, your upper memory there. Uh, so from F0 there through FFF there, it's uh, ROM, it's detecting that as ROM. But you can see below that is, uh, that doesn't say, what is the gray? Oh, we can't see the colors, but um, there it is. So RAM is uh, that uh, kind of, dotted colored there Let's see if we get this to scroll down it's just kind of slow you can see yeah so f000 below that and all the way down to now it's it's detecting the even the video memory as as ram yeah because there's B8 right there, and we're still seeing that as RAM. Um, but you you do honestly have from, oh, it was like BC00 on up through F there of available memory. And it's, it's all accounted for. It's all there. And with that note, uh, on the I.O. ports, you have 64K worth of I.O. ports that are 100% available. I mean, obviously, the other sides the ones that are used. I'm using um, some IO ports in the F range for the uh, drive control. But let's uh, exit out of this. Um, something else. I could never get to work because uh, I didn't write the BIOS code correctly for the uh, screen. It was F disk. The F disk worked. It was that the the display was no good. It would uh, I haven't even tried this yet. So, but I'm thinking it'll work. Seeing it now, oh, it's printing in the correct locations. That was never the the case before. So we can push four. See if it's taking keyboard inputs here. Okay, so I wasn't able to see the number, but uh, it, it took it. So uh, 
It's a 10 megabyte drive image for Metapath 12. It sounds about right. So there isn't a D drive there and MSD show a D drive, but there's not. So we can just exit. And so F disk worked uh, as far as the menus work. I, I can't promise you that it'll edit your drive correctly, but it, it works. Uh, let's go. Um, let's kind of do debug here. Maybe we can look at memory that way. So let's dump the interrupt uh, vector table here. Um, it's looking about right. Let's see, so I put interrupt uh, for the drive. Let's see if I get this right in there. See how many more are filled up. So it should be filled up through DOS interrupts. Yeah, it ends there at the DOS interrupts. Should anyway. I'll just keep dumping this. We'll go to the BIOS data area. We'll follow this. But I'm pretty happy with the usability compared to before. Just the speed is a little obnoxious. All right, so we're going to get into the biostat area next. So it looks like what if there's some, because your, your interrupt vector table ends here. I wonder if uh, there's some remapping going on there. Or if that's just some junk that was dumped in there. But you can see the keyboard buffer here when I've been just hitting Ds. Um, things like the, uh, the the color palette is in there. Your video mode is right there too. And that's what I'm pulling to get the screen mode is right from those. It's not perfect, but it's, it's better than the PC on a card because you don't have to change manually. It detects it. A little bit more work would be need to, needs to be done on that. Um, let's dump up in the ROM area. I don't think that there should be any ROM in, at F000. Now, because this is like real virtual memory and all that, it, it's all just zeroed out. And there's not random bits in there. So, yeah, that's what I thought. It'd be all zeros. Uh, you don't have to put all the zeros, but this is the uh, ROM extension for, um, you can see right here, this is for the uh, the drive controller. And like, like I said, it's not a CH376, it's a custom one for this Raspberry Pi project. I, I started to uh, replicate a 376 code. I was thinking, oh, we could just drop it in there and it'd be handy, but this was a lot quicker. Uh, maybe one day we can go down that road and just have a, a universal BIOS that goes between the two. And actually, if, uh, if I was really ambitious, you take and uh, work with your uh, CGA controller registers and actually uh, have a fully uh, compatible BIOS between the two projects. But anyway, let's uh, let's run a game. Um, Kind of finish this out. I actually have a little tiny keyboard that I'm typing on, so it's kind of a pain to type on. Um, so stop with wrong colors, but this is this is where the co the graphics come in, and this is where having a good BIOS comes in because uh, I didn't have to write any of this. Um, this is graphics mode characters, which required to be uh, a little bit more effort to get them to print on the screen because you're not printing a uh, a character you're not printing an ASCII code you're actually printing the character on the screen in graphics mode but you can see it uh 
it prints out nice other than the colors wrong um it's slow of course take forever to get to the main screen and try to exit out of this I pred, uh, pressed a uh, computer so it'll come kill me if it makes it that far now it's sitting here and writing sound to the uh, to port uh, 42 or whatever it is the sound controller so the Raspberry Pi should be able to, to grab that and uh, should be able to uh, generate the sound, the proper sound for this. Now, we could either kind of keep it slow, so it'd be kind of like out of whack, or I could try to make it match the same, the correct sound. So you can see the, if you can see that in the video, the computer's plane is still working its way over to me because it's so slow. I'm just trying to kill myself out of this uh, game. I ran this one because it'll go back to the DOS prompt. I won't have to reboot. I think we've got about two more lives. Yeah, here comes the computer. All right, this should end it. It's the only thing I want to demo more. Um, I'm going to demo Paratrooper to show more of that graphics writing on the screen, but really that's kind of it. So it's not without its glitches, that's for sure, but it's we're, we're just so much better off now with this BIOS. Sorry, we're back to the prompt, but uh, so I'll just end the video here, but yeah, so thanks for checking out the video. I would definitely recommend if you've got one of these uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Pi 86s to download the uh, updated version. And uh, you got to download the whole GitHub because uh, the C code changed as well. So anyway, thanks for checking out the video today.